Hello and welcome to a web design tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the basics of HTML and CSS um, which I've laid out here on this page in front of me. This, this tutorial and the few that follow it in this small series that I'm going to be doing are at the request of several people who have asked me to show them the step-by-step -step building of a web page and how I'm coding it and what language I'm using behind it. For those of you watching this video who may already be quite um, adept with HTML and CSS and other technologies, please um, comment this kindly in the sense that this is aimed at people who have specifically requested this because they don't know, they'd like me to explain it to them, or they'd like to just check back um, their skills against what I'm doing or how I've been doing it. So please bear that in mind if you're commenting. Anyway. This page in front of me, uh, the page in front of me is in Text Wrangler. It's on my Mac, and we've got a basic HTML layout with some simple CSS. This is internal CSS. Um, later on, I'll be sh in the series. I'll be showing you um, external CSS sheets and how to link them in and everything else like that. What we're going to be talking through, I'm not going to type this out because I, there's just not enough time to type it all out and explain each bit in the 10 minutes allotted. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you what each individual element does. If you have if you're a real novice at this, please pause the video now and just copy down this code. Um, I'm not putting a link to it or I'm not uploading it in my description because it's just a real simple HTML page. But just pause it at different points and you'll be able to get the full code in. Anyway, opening off we've got our HTML tags at the top followed by our head tag. We've got our title tags underneath that which is what is displayed in the browser bar. Uh, so it's going to be HTML and CSS. Um, we've got our styling CSS tags under here and we've got the different unique identifiers which these styles are affecting. We've got our, the close style tag there, closing head tag, open the body tag here, we've got our first div tag here which is the wrapper which is going around the whole of the website content in the body tags, followed by our header div which contains the three headings H1, H2, H3, you know you can use more H4, H5 etc. Uh, but we're only using three for this example. We've got the closed div there, um, our content div here, paragraph inside it, just have that in one, um, our closed div tag there, and then the clo final closed div tag here is from our wrapper div here. The reason I'm going on about closing them all the time is because I've had several people in the past email me saying, oh, um, my website's not working, my page isn't working, I can't get this to work, can you have a look through it? I'm more than happy to, but nine times out of ten, I can guarantee there's a tag missing somewhere. It's not, you know, therefore I, I miss tags out of my code quite often, wonder why the page isn't working, go back through, look quickly, oh, I've forgotten a tag there. So just make sure you um, close your tag off. A good um, technique to use is open your div tags, or open any tag, and immediately close it, then go back and type in what you wanted, that way you, you hopefully won't forget. Anyway, at the end of that you've got the body close tag and the HTML tag. If you hit control save, um, command save on a Mac, if you're doing it in notepad just make sure you do change the file, save as type from text documents to all types and make sure you name it, um, for example I've named this test.html, make sure you add that extension, doesn't matter what um, program you're using, make sure you do set it to test dot html and that way it will display as a web page so opening up this is what we get okay and this displays exactly the same in um, safari and in firefox i'll just show you quickly in firefox there we are and safari firefox safari and this is also the same in chrome and internet explorer okay um, in future videos you may see some of the css code we do um, i have to apply uh, browser specific code um, to correct things or add in Internet Explorer um, cross browser compatibility um, snippets of script and code just to fix it as we all know IE can be a bit of a pain but we'll live. Looking back at the code our first section of code is the wrapper okay so this is what we're going to have a look at first uh, along with the, what, the style we've applied to the body as you can see the page background is black and our content is nicely centered in the middle of the page. There's an easy CSS effect, a uh, bit of CSS code even, to apply this to any web page you want. And it's done like this. In the body tag we've got up here, we've just typed in body, open up our squiggly brackets, and we've typed in background colon um, hash 000, which is the short code for black, uh, close semicolon. Um, that 
applies the the whole of the body background to black. Okay, um, quite clear enough. We've seen that. There's the black on the website. Here's the code for it. Underneath that, we've put text align is center. Okay, this is the um, effect to get the page to uh, always display centered. Okay, so in the body tag, you want to apply text align center, and then you want to go down to your wrapper tag, and in your wrapper tag, you want to uh, apply the uh, width, a fixed width. As you can see, we've moved this in. This is because the width between this border here and this border here is 600 pixels. Okay, and we want the margin, we want to set a margin of zero space auto. And what this does is this adjusts the uh, page to automatically center to the middle of the page on that fixed width. We will, uh, and as you can see underneath that, I've applied a border to separate it, and we've put text align to left again. You don't, again, in the body tag, we've put text align to center. If you left it like that, everything would be center aligned. Um, nine times out of ten, you're not going to want everything in the page center aligned, so you're going to um, apply different text alignments to different in individual sections of your website to get the different effects. As you can see, we've got our headers here cent center aligned again, but our content tags um, have been p-aligned, p um, not p-aligned, sorry, text aligned um, left again. We've, uh, what else we've got on here? Let's go down a bit more. Sorry, there, there are, let's have a look at the p-tags. So the p-tags here, um, we've got some padding applied to them and we've got the color blue to them. As you can see, the text is blue and we've got it's padding left 10 pixels that is being pushed in 10 pixels away from that border. If we remove it, just set that to zero and save it. If we remove it, it's forced right up against the line because that is the default padding, uh, default style set for a P tag. So let's put the 10 back in. Sorry, I forgot to mention where this wrapper comes in. So let's go down again. The wrapper is this one here, the div ID wrapper. Okay, IDs uh, affect normally large sections of similar content on the page. You can use a class, which I'll go over in the next video, uh, which is just a dot. You can use classes as well, but they are normally more user um, specific to individual tags or different sections of code. The header here, we've got its text align center again. We've set the background to white. We've got the border set to one pixel solid and it's to a grey background, that's the short code for a grey background, same if we put in the wrapper, and we've put a margin of 15. What this has done is it has pushed the border here 15 pixels away from the wrapper border, okay? So that you can see um, a basic um, difference between each individual div layer, which that was all going for. It's centre aligned, as we've said before, and the white background's there. And let's go down to content finally. Content is what we've wrapped our P tag around. Again, we don't have to apply all the styles to the P tag, we can leave some of them out. Um, we might not have just P tags in there later on, we might put more onto it. Content wise, here we are, we've got it set to text left um, again, which is why you noticed hopefully the P tag was, sent, was text aligned to the left. We've put our border around it again, which is a solid border, and we've put our margin 15 pixels around it again. And that's all the styles we've applied to this. It's a really simple layout. And I'll leave that up on screen while I talk. Um, we've, again, we've wrapped around the content there. I'll leave this around here. So if you want to copy this down, you can. Basically, all we've done here is we've put some, we've sectioned off our website into the wrapper, the header, and the content. Okay, there will be more divs that I'll apply in future tutorials to show you how to section off your website into easy, manageable sections of code. Uh, doing this way it also helps with the layout as you can specifically target different areas of the website and where to place them on the site. Um, CSS is a great tool um, and you know it proves the fact that you don't need to do everything on your website with images. Not only are images um, you know make uh, the can make websites sluggish and lo slow loading uh, depending on your connection speed. They also take up quite a lot more space than some simple text. As you've seen, we've done all that in just you know a, a few lines of, of code. It's not much at the moment, but it it's the, showing you the. I'm hoping it's showing you the basics of CSS and how to style your website. With some of these basics, you'll have a better understanding when we come on to some more advanced effects. And this is what I'm going to be showing you in the next few tutorials.
Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. And look um, on to my next tutorial. It'll be coming out soon.